sitting down there. Quite cold, no? You must be all feeling or not? I am feeling. <laughs> Last year it was not cold. This time. Okay. Why it is cold this year? This is a cold winter. This is a cold winter. Sometimes winter is always cold, but this is a cold winter. Little bit more cold. Why winter becomes little more cold? The winter becomes little cold or more cold, you know. If there is no greenhouse gas. Which are the prominent greenhouse gases, you know, so far as climate is concerned, it is water vapor. Water vapor. Asman mein jada hoga na paani. So, winter itna cold nahi hoga. Warm thar ke. It is across India. So, wherever there is winter this year, the southern hemisphere. This is a colder winter. Because there is not much of moisture in the air. That is why it is colder. Why there is no moisture in the air? Can you guess? Huh? The rainfall was poor. If it is a good rainfall, that means what? Wet summer. If it is a wet summer, the winter will be less cold. If it is a dry summer, you know, it is not a wet summer, not much rainfall. You understand? No? Summer means monsoon part. If there is not much rainfall, so there will be less water vapor, so winter will become more colder. Understood? Na? This we will learn today, so that you can understand, you know, why some winters becomes colder. The winter becomes colder if there is not much rainfall in the monsoon. If we have a good monsoon, that, that year winter will not be that cold. Because a lot of water vapor will be there, greenhouse cases will be there. So they will keep, you know, winter warm. Understood this logic, this correlation? Yes. Huh. So why did you give an Ah, jet streams, you know, both, both the jet streams, polar jet streams and sub subtropical jet streams. What is happening? Huh? Winds are blowing that way, you know. See, winds are blowing from this side to this side in the southern hemisphere. Winds are blowing from this side to this side. So these jet streams are upper upper atmospheric phenomena, you know, upper troposphere phenomena, not on the down. So that means the winds are blowing towards this direction only. Winds are blowing this direction only. And these zones are the Zones between these two cells. <coughs> ये cell ऐसे आता है ना? ऐसे यूं जाके यूं down होता है। मैं मन polar high अरे अपुन follow this diagram. Here it is a low L. फिर यहाँ से ऐसे आता है। This is a high here it is a low. Uh, it is a low here. That is what is happening. So this is a polar huh? Then this is a what is this? Subtropical. This is tropical. This is subtropical. Low. Tropical high. Equatorial low. That is how it is distributed. So these beds are between two circulation patterns, opposing circulation patterns. This belt is coming. Similarly, this belt is coming within these two opposing circulation patterns. 
that is why it is where it is liberal so here the wind flows same kinetic force so it is a thread like this you know since they are confined to this bed then the hostility comes from the west and as i told you this is not a straight bed this is not a straight bed like this so depending on you know it becomes like this this is on the atmospheric pressure variation that take a serpentine form of this form of it so these are the jet streams so the air the flights that take this jet stream to make the flight easier understood this part na theek hai na now today what we study one thing very very interesting you know as i told you why winter is colder this year that is called in connection with the so the ll guy walker cell walker cell so this is polar cell polar cell this is ferrell cell this is hardy cell that is what we have read you know now today we will read something related to you see this is the equatorial zone i intertropical convergence zone this one. 10 degree that side 10 degree this side so here the surface winds not the top winds top winds will go like this top winds will go like this the below winds the surface winds they will come from this side and they converge that is why you say it is a convergent zone that is why you say it is a convergent zone now when they converge here you know when they converge here see this wind pattern you know is flowing over the ocean as well as the land it is flowing both over the ocean and the land now when it flows over the ocean when it flows over the ocean let us take the case of This is good to us, and this is America, North America. This is South America, South America. And this side, you have the Japan and other things, you know. Here the Indonesia, Australia is somewhere here, you know. Australia, these are the Indonesian islands. Here is Japan. This is what your Pacific Ocean. When it is flowing over that, this wind, you know. They are converging along this zone. When they converge like this, the water over Pacific Ocean, you know, understand that? The water over Pacific Ocean goes like this. This will take a little time. Which he says, you know, you cannot observe it. But gradually over the days, over the weeks, over the year, you know, so this. Wind when they converge along this zone, the water in the ocean they are dry. So what will happen? This Pacific Ocean, equatorial Pacific Ocean, you know, equatorial Pacific Ocean. So this water from the west coast of America, they start flowing towards Indonesia. As they flow, I is it that the water comes you know the water levels near indonesia water level in near indonesia rises so piles up and water level here you know goes down from here the water is dragged na pulled na suppose initially it was like this you know still level was like this so now water is <coughs> Flowing this way, so what will happen? You know, the water level <coughs> will become like this. Understood? So water level becomes what is it? 60 to 70 centimeter higher 
and this goes 60 to 70, nearly 1 meter, say, goes down like this. You know. So this is this slope is being maintained by this wind flow. As a result, what happens? You, know? you must have heard that that is called a thermocline. In the this will read, yeah. But thermocline yeah. is a layer, you know. After which, you know, the water becomes very cold in the ocean. Maybe 100 meter, 200 meter below. Up to that light, jata hai. Up to that light persists. But below that, you know, light does not penetrate. And water becomes very cold. That is the zone of thermocline. The temperature declines very fast. That is why it is called thermocline. So this water level, this thermocline, you know, is something like this, you see. This is thermocline. Yeah. So thermocline is deeper here. Thermocline is shallow. That means the thermocline goes up. Because of this tilting, this surface tilting, the thermocline goes up here and goes down here. So you have this part of America, you know, this part of America, equatorial American coast, you know, becomes very cold. This is warmer. Indonesia becomes warmer. You know. Because of what? Off welling. Off welling cold water. Up in cold water. This is a Kinski layer. This is a Understood? Na? Since it is warm, so this air you know goes up. So this is an additional factor, you know, that in the equatorial zone here, further pressure becomes low because now it is warm. Otherwise it is low. The equatorial part is always low. But now it is an additional factor, you know. The water, the sea water has piled up, thermocline has gone down, the coldness has gone down, you know. So it is warmer, so a lot of water vapor and other things, you know, goes up and it creates rainfall. Understood this part, no? Because of depending of the thermo thermocline. And what happened? This part is cold. This part very cold. Understood? Na? So this Peru, Chile, you know, Peru, Chile, Equator, Equator, na? they experience a very cold wind, very cold atmosphere compared to this one, stormy weather. Lot of rainfall in Indonesia. All this understand. This is a normal phenomenon. This is a normal phenomenon. Because the wind will flow like this. This IPC that will be there. The water will be taken away. This will be piling up. This is just a normal phenomenon. So these areas are very quite cold. Because of this cold, you know, this water is rich with Nutrients, small fishes. So, a lot of fishing activity goes on there. Lot of fishing activity. Lot of fishing activity goes there. Understood? Na? When a lot of fishing activity takes place, so there is a lot of wastage, you know. Lot of fishes are thrown away, rotten and fishes. So bars and migrate, bars migrate, bars migrate. These are points you know connected to each other. They survive with those west fishes. So these bars, they drop their waste. Drop their waste, you know. So a lot of cultivation. So this leads to agricultural boost. understand this part, na? Is it connected? 
So they say this normal situation is so well for this pavement TV area. Normal situation. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, when a cold hona chahi, cold hone ke baad yeh so fishing activity badna chahi, then bird should come. There should be a lot of agriculture. This is the normal activity. And इधर क्या होता दिस साइड में इंडोनेशिया में लॉट ऑफ रेनफॉल ये ऊपर जाता ना यार ये रेस आता ना गोज ऑफ ना दिस लॉट ऑफ रेनफॉल है वेर इंडोनेशिया अंडरस्टूड ना तो नॉट ओनली दैट व्हेन द एयर गोज ऑफ सो मच यू नो इंडिया इज वेर इंडिया इज समवेयर हियर हियर इज इंडिया India is something. So as more and more air vapor, you know, goes up, the monsoon is also pulled. More and more monsoon. This becomes more active now. Now, this IC, IC, this IP, CZ zone, more active. So monsoon is pulled from the sea, you know, and India get a good monsoon. Understood, na? Cold, lot of rainfall, good monsoon in India. Follow this point. This is considered to be golden year, golden year. So everything is positive. Everything is positive. Follow this point, na? If this wind blows, you know. These winds blow strongly. The water is taken away from this side to this side. Then hot wind goes off, creating heavy monsoon here. The monsoon in India becomes stronger. Here it is. Winter is stronger. That is a normal thing, you know. But sometimes what happens, you know, intermittently, this wind will you know, become very weak. This, this return winds, trade winds. That is to release. This wind is not coming from here. This trade wind you say. Or historically wind you say. That becomes very weak. Very weak when it is what happens? This water cannot be dragged that way, that much, that forcefully. Water cannot be dragged forcefully. So what happens ultimately? I will just remove this part. So this level, like this, almost flat. Here all, all things that need with this little little arrow data. So thermocline, you know, remains deep. If this easterly currents are not stronger, the thermocline remains very deep. When thermocline remains very deep. This is not a cold winter. Not a cold winter then. Because the deep thermocline is quite deep, you know. So the water is warm now. So here warm condition prevails. Warm condition prevails. Warm condition prevails means then for the Rainfall will lead to rainfall. When rainfall occurs, you know, this thesis does not grow. Because nutrients layer becomes deep. So thesis does not grow. Bars do not come, you know. Bars do not come. Agriculture is not well. एक तरह भी नहीं होगा। वांडर सुड इस पार्ट ना। स्ट्रॉंग विंटर है नहीं हो। बारिश होगा तो इट कैन नॉट बी स्ट्रॉंग विंटर ना। सो इट विल बी यू नो वेट विंटर। गर्मी होगा। पूरा अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट ना। ये तो इधर कैसी चीज़ है? तो फाड़ने पर जिया। 